my friends, in the last video, we have seen the miscellaneous exercise for the sequence and series. And in that video, we see the multiple choice question. Now, this is the question number two. In this question, there are 33 questions. Out of the 33 questions, we will consider here 1 to 20 questions. Are all questions? I had explained in a very simple language so that all of you can understand whatever I am explaining. Now, let us start the next question number two, the question from one to 20. Now, let us start the question number two. Answer. The following questions in a GP the fourth term is forty eight and term is seven sixty eight. Find the tenth term. Now see this in this example in a GP, the fourth term. That is, we have given the T4. T4 is equals to 48 and T8 is equals to 768. We want to find out the 10th term means T10. Here we will apply the formula Tn is equals to A into R is to N minus 1. And then we will take the ratio T8 upon T4 then you will get the value of the r and using the value of the r we will find out the value of the a by using the fourth or eighth term and then we we'll find out the tenth term now see this here the t4 is equals to 48 and t8 is equals to 768 and now the formula that is t10 is equals to question mark this is the formula tn is equals to a into r is to n minus 1 now t4 is equals to a into r is to 4 minus 1 that is equals to 48 and t8 is equals to a into r is to 8 minus 1 which is 768. Now here we will take the ratio that is a t8 upon t4 and that is equals to a into r is to 7 upon a into r is to 3 is equals to 768 upon 48. Now see this. R is to 3, 768 upon 48. Now we will give the division. RR get cancelled. And now here we will apply the law of indices that is R is to 7 minus 3, that is R is to 4, and 768 upon 48, that is equals to 16, that is R is to 4 is equals to 16 means the value of r is equals to 2. Now, see this. Now, we required the value of a. For that, we apply that t4 is equals to 48 and t4 means a into r is to 4 minus 1 is equals to 48 
and in this formula we will substitute the value of the r then you will get the value of a therefore a into 2 raised to 3 is equals to 48 and after substituting this value that is a 2 raised to 3 means what 8 a into 8 is equals to 48 therefore a is equals to 48 upon 8 now see these steps 48 upon 8 and that c will get a is equals to 6 now you know both the values a and r therefore we can find out the d10 that is a into r raised to 10 minus 1 that is a 6 into 2 raised to 9 and the value of 2 raised to 9 is 512 and their multiplication now therefore t 10 is equals to 3072 this is the answer now the next question find the sum of first five terms of a GP whose first term is 1 and the common ratio is 2 upon 3. Now see this example. Find the sum of the first five terms of the GP. The given sequence is in GP whose first term is 1 that is a A is equals to 1 and the common ratio is 2 upon 3 therefore that is a mod of r is equals to 2 upon 3 which is less than 1 therefore here we will apply the formula sn is equals to a in bracket 1 minus r raised to n upon 1 minus r now see this it is very simple and you will get n is equals to 5, r is a is equals to 1, r is equals to 2 upon 3. We will apply the formula. The value of the r is a less than 1. Therefore, s5 that is a 1 in bracket r is to n means what 2 upon 3 in bracket is to 5 upon 1 minus r. Now in this formula we have substituted value. Now here is simple calculation. We will multiply 3 into 1 that is a 3 minus 2 it is 1 upon 3 and next calculation as follows. That is 1 in bracket 1 minus 2 upon 3 bracket raised to 5 and write in bracket raised to bracket raised to 5 we get 1 upon 3 to the denominator and it will be the multiplied and reciprocal that is a 3 now I say here multiplied and reciprocal means what here is it will be the multiplied and reciprocal of this is 3 now we will simplify the bracket that is a 2 upon 3 bracket raised to 5 means what 2 raised to 5 means 32 and 3 raised to 5 means what 243 and here is a simple calculation that is a 243 into 1 minus 32 upon 243 now see this calculation 243 that is a 243 into 1 243 minus 32 upon 243 and this is simple calculation therefore that is the now how this calculation is that is a 3 upon 
to 43. Then if we perform this division, you will get 1 upon 81. And next, 243 minus 32. Then you will get the remaining term. That is a 212, 211 upon 81. Therefore, S5 is equal to 211 upon 81. And this is the answer. I hope that you will understand all the calculations. I had changed my next view to explain you so that I can pause my video and I can explain you. Now for a GP, A is equals to 4 upon 3 and TN is equals to 243 upon 124. Find the value of R. Now here we have given that is the a 4 upon 3 T7 243 upon 1024. Now here we will apply the formula Tn is equals to A into R is to N minus 1. Substitute the value of A and the value of the T7. You will get the value of R. Now see this here. That is A is equals to 4 upon 3. T7 is equal to 243 upon 1024 and Tn is equal to A into R is to N minus 1. Now here we will substitute the values that is the Tn is equal to 243. The value of A 4 upon 3 and the R into R is to 7 minus 1 because we have given that the, this is the value of T7, therefore N is replaced by 7 minus 1. Now this is the calculation that we have to perform. Now R is to 7 minus 1 means what? R is to 6. Now see this. To 43 upon 124 is equals to 4 upon 3 into R is to 6. This is the simple calculation. You can perform it. Now again see this. This is divided by 3. We can multiply it on the left hand side. And this is the 4 on the right hand side. It comes to the divided by. And that's why you will get value of R is to 6 is equals to 243 into 3 upon 3 that is this is the value. Now see this here 243 means what 3 raised to 5 and 3 raised to 5 again 3 raised to 1 means 3 raised to 6 and again see this value that is 1024 means 2 raised to 10 and again this is a 2 raised to 2 means what 2 raised to 12 now again we can write in this manner that is a in the that is a 2 raised to 6 now this is written in this manner that is a 3 raised to 6 and 2 raised to 2 bracket square. 2 raised to 12 can be written as 2 raised to 2 and whole bracket raised to 6. Therefore you will get 3 upon 4 bracket raised to 6. Now see this. Therefore the value of R is 3 upon 4. That's why this is the value of the R, which is 3 by 4. Now, we will start the next example. Example number 4. For a sequence, if Tn is equal to 5 is to N, 
minus 2 upon 7 raised to n minus 3. Verify whether sequence is a GP. If it is a GP, find it. First term and the common ratio. Now, in this case, we have given the value of Tn. That is, Tn is equals to 5 raised to n minus 2 upon 7 raised to n minus 3. We will find out t suffix n plus 1 means what n is replaced by n plus 1 and tn is given here. Then we will take the ratio tn plus 1 upon tn and then you will get the constant ratio and then we say that the given sequence is in GP and using that we can find out it's a first term now see this tn is equals to 5 raised to n minus 2 upon 7 raised to n minus 3 here tn plus 1 that is a here I had replaced this n by n plus 1 and 7 raised to n minus 3 again this n by n plus 2 therefore plus 1 and minus 2 you will get 5 raised to n minus 1 and the next step this is the plus 1 and minus 3 that is 7 raised to n minus 2 and that's why you will get that is, we will take the ratio r is equals to t n plus 1 upon t n. And if we get this ratio as a constant, then the given sequence will be in geometry of progression. Now, in this step, we will substitute the value that is a t n plus 1, which is a 5 raised to 7 minus 1 upon 7 raised to n minus 2. Now here we have substituted the value of t n plus 1 and here is a t n. Now see this, this is a upon b, this whole divided by c upon d means what a upon b multiplied and the reciprocal of this which is the d upon c. Now see these steps, that is a 5 raised to n minus 1 upon 7 raised to n minus 2 and now here this is the important steps 5 raised to 7 minus 5 raised to n minus 1 upon 7 raised to n minus 2 into multiplied and reciprocal that is a 7 raised to n minus 3 upon 5 raised to n minus 2. Now we'll take the division of 5 raised to n minus 1 upon 5 raised to n minus 2 and the 7 raised to n minus 3 upon 7 raised to n minus 2, then you will get the proper answer. Now see this 5 raised to n minus 1 upon 5 raised to n minus 2 and the 7 raised to n minus. Now we have split up this, that is a 5 upon 5 and 7 upon 7, 7 terms and 5 terms we have collected it. Now here we will apply the law of indices and this is the division a raised to m upon a raised to n means what a raised to m minus n. Now see this here 5 raised to n minus 1 minus in bracket n minus 2 and for this 7 we bring this term to the denominator that is a 7 raised to n minus 2 as it is and the 7 raised to n minus 3 therefore we make here minus sign in bracket n minus 3. Now, this is the simple simplification. 
that is a 5 is 2 n minus 1 minus n plus 2 and 7 raised to n minus 2 minus n plus 3. Now, this is the simple calculation that is a 5 raised to that is a plus n and minus n get cancelled here minus 1 and plus 2 1 is remaining and the 7 raised to here is also plus n minus n get cancelled minus 2 and plus 3 you are getting 1 therefore r is equals to 5 upon 7 now next is therefore the ratio is constant which is the ratio tn plus 1 upon tn that ratio was constant and hence the given sequence is in gp that is always we call the ratio in the geometric progression is always constant then the common ratio is 5 upon 7. Now, we will find out the first term. Now, we know that Tn is equals to 5 raised to n minus 2 upon 7 raised to n minus 3. Now, to find out the first term, here we will replace n by 1. That is a 5 raised to 1 minus 2 upon 7 raised to 1 minus 3. Then, you will get the value of tn that is a 5 raised to minus 1 upon 7 raised to minus 2 and we change here that is the when we this is the 1 upon a raised to minus r this will become plus when it will come to the numerator its a power will come when it will come to the numerator its power will become plus and this 5 raised to minus 1 when this comes to the denominator its power will become plus that is 71 is equals to 7 square means what 49 upon 5 now see this 49 upon 5 therefore t1 is equals to 49 upon 5 okay. now this is our first term and the common ratio is 5 upon 7 in this way we have completed this question now next question that is the question number 5 find now the question number 5 find the three numbers in gp such that their sum is 35 and their Product is 1000. Now, here the three numbers are in GP, and that's why we will apply the formula that is the terms in GP when there are the three terms A upon R, A, A, R. When the three numbers are in GP, the numbers are or the terms are A upon R, A, A, R. Now, see this. What is the first condition? That is the sum of the all the terms. That is A upon R plus A plus A R. That is equals to 35. When the terms are in GP, the three numbers have this type of the numbers are there. That is, we will take the always A upon R. A and A R. Now this is the first condition. Now next condition and their product that is A upon R into A A R that is equals to 1000. This is the second condition A upon R into A into A R is equals to 1000. Now from the first condition that is we will take A as common then in bracket we will get 1 upon R plus 1 plus r bracket complete is equals to 35. Now see this that is a in bracket 1 upon r plus 1 plus r that is equals to 5 and if you see this all the terms this a get cancelled you will get a into a into a that is equals to 1000 that is a cube is equals to 
1000 and that is nothing but the 10 raised to 3 and that's why the value of a is equals to 10. Now we'll substitute this value of a in this equation that is a 10 in bracket 1 upon r plus 1 plus r that's equals to 35 and then simplify you will get the quadratic equation in r and if you solve that quadratic equation you will get the two values of the r out of one value you can get and the value of the r you will get the, all the three terms now here we have substituted the value of a which is the 10 that is the 10 in bracket 1 upon r plus 1 plus r is equals to 35 therefore 1 upon r plus 1 plus r is equals to 35 upon 10 now see this and we can give the division 5 that is 1 upon r plus r is equals to 7 upon 2 minus 1 and that is equals to 5 upon 2 that is a 2 into 1 that is 2 5 7 minus 2 is 5 upon 2 now simplify this multiply on both sides by 2r then you get the quadratic equation in r now see this multiplied on both sides by 2r why we are multiplying on both sides by 2r because here lcm will be 2r this is the denominator r and here is a 2 and here is r upon 1 therefore lcm of r and 2 is 2r therefore multiply on both sides by 2r in bracket r plus 1 upon r is equals to 5 by 2 into 2r now see this therefore you will get 2r square plus r is equals to 5r now this is the simple quadratic equation this 2 to get cancel 2r square 2r into 1 upon r again this rr get cancelled therefore here is only the two terms and that is equals to 5r therefore 2r square minus 5r plus 2 equals to 0 this is the quadratic equation and now to solve this quadratic equation here 10 standard job that is a 2 into 2 that is a 4 now what are the two numbers such that whose multiplication is 4 and sum is minus 5 that is minus 4 and minus 1 minus 4 into minus 1 that is a plus 4 and their sum is minus 5 and that's why now see this this is the simple quadratic equation take two are common from first two terms minus sign from the second two terms therefore you will get r minus 2 in first bracket second bracket 2r minus 1 and that's equals to 0 2r minus 1 and 2r minus 1 and in this way r minus 2 equals to 0 and 2r minus 2 equals to 0 therefore r is equals to 2 and r is equals to 1 upon 2 now see these steps r is equals to 2 now we want we will find out when r is equals to 10 sorry a is equals to 10 r is equals to 2 then for therefore we will find out the terms a is equals to 10 r is equals to 2 the terms are a upon r the value of a is 10 10 upon 2 that is equals to 5 next a is equals to 10 a r that is a 10 into 2 that is equals to 20 therefore the three terms are 5 10 20 now again see this what is the ratio 10 upon 5 that is 2 20 upon 10 that is 2 the ratio is constant which is 2 and when the value of r is equals to 1 upon 2 then it's a very simple that is the 20 10 and 5 if we substitute you will get the 20 10 and 5 hence the terms are 5 10 
20 or 20, 10, 5 and in this way we have completed this question. Now the next question, that is a question number 6. Find 5 numbers in GP find the five numbers in GP such that their product is 243 and sum of the second and the fourth number now five numbers are in GP the numbers are like this a upon r square a upon r a a r and a r square now what is the first condition we have given their product is 243 means product of the all the terms and the sum of the second and the fourth term is 10. Now see this, the terms are a upon r square, a upon r, a, a, r, a, r square. The condition is that the product of all the terms, that is a upon r square, a upon r, a, a, r and a, r square is equal to 243. And the sum of the second and the fourth term the second term is a upon r and the fourth term is a r that is equals to 10. Now see this by using that condition. First condition to 43 a upon r square a upon r a a r a r square means the product of all these terms a upon r square a upon r a a r a r square that is equals to 243 now what will happen here r square into r r is to 3 and to the numerator r into r square that is the r is to 3 these two terms will get cancelled and next will be a into a into a into a that is a raised to 5. a raised to 5 is equals to 243 and it is clear that this is the 3 raised to 5 and the value of a is equals to 3. See this. This is the a is equals to 3 by second condition that is the sum of the second and the fourth term. Now here the sum of the second and the fourth term means what? a upon r plus a r that is equals to 10. a upon r plus a r that is equals to Now, this is the second condition. Now, we will simplify here. The value of a is equal to 3 and then multiply on both sides by 3. Then you will get the quadratic equation in R and then solve that quadratic equation. You will get the two values of the R and using the two values of R, you take the a is equal to 3 and one value of the R, you will get all the five terms. Now see this. That is a 3 upon r plus 3r that is equals to 10. Now substitute. Next is multiply on both sides by r. Why we are multiplying? Because the LCM is r. Therefore we are multiplying on both sides by r. That is a this is the multiplication r in bracket 3 upon r plus 3r that is equals to 10r. R 3 by r into this r and 3r into this r that is a 3r square 
and that is equals to 10 r and that's why overall you will get 3 r square minus 10 r plus 3 that's equals to 0. Now see this 3 r square minus 10 r plus 3 equals to 0. Now this is the simple quadratic equation 3 into 3 that is a 9 and the factors are their sum is minus 10 and the product is a plus 9. The terms are minus 9 and minus 1. Minus 9 minus 1 is minus 10 and their product is plus 9. Now take the common. Therefore, you will get, you can take the common. Now see these steps. Number of the students says that, sir, you are writing very speedily. Now I can manage my speed and I hope that you will understand very very clearly and you can write by using the speed now this you can write in proper way okay now next is r minus 3 is equals to 0 3 minus r and that's why r is equals to 3 and r is equals to 1 upon 3 these are the values of r, r is equals to 3 and r is equals to 1 upon 3 and now in the next step we will take the value of a that is a value of a and the value of r therefore terms are that is a 3 upon 3 square 3 upon 3 3 3 into 3 and the terms are 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 now see these terms you can 3 upon 3 square 3 upon 3 3 3 into 3 3 into 3 square Therefore, you will get 1 upon 3, 1, 3, 9 and 27. Therefore, the terms are 1 upon 3, 1, 3, 9, 27. Now, see this. And when the value of R is equals to 1 upon 3, and A is equals to 3, then the terms are The reverse of that terms that is the 27, 9, 3, 1 and 1 upon 3. You can substitute and get the answer and hence the answer is 1 upon 3, 1, 3, 9, 27. That is 1 by 3, 1, 3, 9, 27 or 27, 9, 3, 1 and 1 upon 3. Now the next is question number seven for a sequence S n is equals to four in bracket seven raised to n minus one verify that verify that the given sequence is in geometric progression now, this is very simple that is we first find out that tn is equals to sn minus sn minus 1 and using this formula we can find out the value of the tn first of all now sn is equals to 4 in bracket 7 raised to n minus 1 sn minus 1 now in this case n is replaced by n minus 1. Now see this. Here is n. n is replaced by n minus 1. s n then here is n. s minus 1 then 7 raised to n is replaced by n minus 1. Again you have learned in the 10th standard t n is equals to s n minus s n minus 1. At the time you learn the arithmetic progression. Now the formula for the t n is the same here that is tn is equals to sn minus sn minus 1. Now, substitute the value of this sn here minus 
Sn minus 1. Now, after substituting here, that is how to simplify this. Take 4 as common, then in bracket you will get 7 raised to n minus 7 raised to n minus 1, and this is a minus 1, and this will become plus 1, plus 1 minus 1 will become 0, and that's why you will get this type of the terms. Now, see this. If you take 4 as common, then you will get, that is, here the minus sign here, here therefore 7 minus 7 raised to n minus 1 and this minus minus will become plus. Now this plus 1 and minus 1 get cancelled. Therefore, 4 7 raised to n minus 7 raised to n minus 1, that is a 4. Now simplify this, now it can be written as 7 raised to n. Now, this is very important step that is 7 to 2 n and 7 to 2 minus 1. When it comes to the denominator, its power becomes plus. Now, simplify this 7 to 2 n into 7 means what 7 to 2 n plus 1 minus 7 to 2 n upon 7. Then take this 7 outside the bracket, then you will get 4 upon 7. Now, see this. Now take the 7 raised to n as a common, then in bracket you will get this type of the term 4 upon 7 minus 7 raised to n, then bracket in bracket you will get 7, and here is 1. 7 minus 1 that is equals to 6. Now see this, now we will simplify this. 4 upon 7, 7. Now, how this come? That is the 7 raised to n upon 7. Power of the 7 is 1, and there is division. Therefore, 7 raised to n minus 1, 7 minus 1, that is equals to 6. And we can write now this 4 into 6, that is a 24. Therefore, tn is equals to. Now, again, see this. Therefore, tn is equals to 24 into 7 raised to n minus 1. Now, we want to show that it is in GP. Therefore, t1. That is n is replaced by 1 here. That is the 24 into 7 raised to 1 minus 1, and that is equals to 0. Therefore, t1 is equals to 24. Now, next, that is the n is replaced by 2. 24 into 7 raised to 2 minus 1, that is the 24 into 7. t3 is equals to 24 into 7 raised to 3 minus 1. That is a 24 into 7 square. Now we take the ratio t2 upon t1. That is a 24 into 7 upon 24. And that is equals to 7. t3 upon t2 is equals to 24 into 7 square upon 24 into 7. And that is equals to 7. Therefore, the ratio is constant. Therefore, the given sequence is in geometry progression. It is in GP. Now, next question, that is a question number 8. Find 2 plus 22 plus 222 plus 2222 up to n terms. Now, this type of examples we have shown in the exercise 2 plus 22 plus 222 up to the n terms. Now, first of all, we take the 1 as common, then in bracket you will get the terms are like this. Now, see this if you take the 2 common, then in bracket first is 1, 11, 111 plus up to the n terms. Now, again. If you see this, the terms can be written as 2 upon 9. That is, 
In this case, we multiply this bracket numerator and denominator by 9. Now, see this, if we multiply 9 upon 9, divided by 9 as it is, and this 9 comes in bracket and it multiplied to all the terms. That is 1 into 9 is 9. 1 into that is a 9 into 11 is 99 and in this way you will get the terms like this. Now see this, again this 9 can be written as in this fashion, that is a 10 minus 1, 9900 minus 1, 999, 1000 minus 1 up to the n terms. Therefore, that is in bracket you will get 2 upon 9 in first bracket 10 100 1000 dash dash bracket complete minus in bracket 1 plus 1 plus up to the n terms now again this the terms are in gp that is a 10, 10 square, 10 cube, this is in GP and the sum of the 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to the n, that will be the n and we can find out the sum of all these terms here, a is equals to 10, r is equals to 10, we apply the formula a in bracket r is to n minus 1 upon r minus 1. Now see this here, this is in GP. The value of a is 10 and writing there r is equals to 10. Now how these are 10 square upon 10 that is r is equals to 10. The value of r is greater than 1 therefore we will apply the formula a in bracket 10 raised to r is to n minus 1 minus sum of the all this 1 1 that becomes n and now simplify this that is a 2 upon 9 in bracket 10 upon 9 minus 10 raised to this is the 2 upon 9 10 upon 9 10 raised to n minus 1 minus 9 2 upon 9 Take the 1 upon 9 as common, then you will get like this. If you take 1 upon 9 common, then you have to multiply here with 9. It becomes 9n. That is 1 upon 9 in bracket 10 in bracket 10 raised to n minus 1 minus 9. And now see this. That is a 2 upon 81 in bracket 10 in bracket 10 raised to n minus 1 minus 9n and this is the SN. Now next is question number 10. Find the nth term of the sequence that is a 0 0.6, 0 0.66, 0 0.666 0 0.6666 and in this way now to find out the end term for given sequence now the terms are t1 is equals to 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 t2 is equals to 0 0.6 t6 is equals to 0 0.6 plus 0 0.06 t3 is equals to 0 0.666 that is 0 0.6 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.006 and in this way t4 is equals to 0 0.6666 0 0.6 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.006 plus 0 0.000 that is 0 0.006 and in this way And hence, in general, Tn is equals to 0 0.6 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.006 plus 0 0.0006 and in this way up to the end term. And here,
the terms in PN are in GP with A is equals to 0 0.6 and R is equals to 0 0.1 that is equals to 1 upon 10. Therefore, here we will apply the formula for the TN. Sorry, it is written as SN. There must be the SN is equals to SN is equals to A in bracket 1 minus R is to N upon 1 minus 0 0.1. I want to write here TN. I want, I had written if there is a TN, there must be SN. You can change this. SN is equals to 2 upon 3, 1 minus 1 upon 10 raised to N. Now, instead of that, again, I am repeating, you replace TN by SN. Now, the question number 10. Find R is equals to 1 to N. 5R square plus 4R minus 3. Find this. Now the summation of R is equals to 1 to N. 5R square plus 4R minus 3. That is equals to summation 5. R is equals to 1 to N of R square. 4 summation R is equals to 1 to N of R. And the summation 3 r is equals to 1 to n of the constant. That is we here we apply the summation to all the terms for r square, r and the constant. That is a constant 3 into 1 and the value of r square is n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6 and the value of r is n into n plus 1 upon 2 and the value of the sum of the constant term is n. Now see this that is 5 n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 upon 6 plus 4 into n into n plus 1 upon 2 minus 3 n and now here we will simplify here. That is a Two. Now see this here at the 4 upon 2, therefore it is a 2n in bracket n plus 1 minus 3n. Now the next simplification we can take that is a 5n n plus 1, 2n plus 1 upon 6. Now here this is the normal multiplication that is a 2n square plus 2n minus 3n. Now we see this simplification. That is a plus 2n minus 3n means what minus n. This is again simple. Therefore, phi n as it is, these terms are as it is. Therefore, we can simplify this. Let me multiply this 6 to these two terms. That is a 2n square minus n. That is a 6 in bracket 2n square minus n upon 6. And again, we can write in this manner. That is a 5. Now, this is the normal multiplication. n into n plus 1, 2 n plus 1. That is a 12 n square minus 6 n upon 6. Now, again, simplification n into n. That is the Now, in this case, this n is multiplied with these two terms n square plus n, 2n plus 1 plus 12 n square minus 6 n upon 6. Therefore, phi in bracket 2 n cube plus n square plus 2 n square plus n plus 12 n square minus 6 n upon 6. Now, see this term. This n square will multiply this to n, that is the 2n cube. n square into 1 is a n square. 
n into 2n, that is the 2n square, and the last is n into 1 is n, and these terms are as it is. Now, again, simplify. That is a fine in bracket 2n cube plus 3n square plus n bracket complete plus 12n square minus 6n upon 6. Therefore, 5 in bracket. Now, the multiplication with multiplied by 5. Then you will get 10 and cube plus 15 n square plus 5 n plus 12 n square minus 6 n upon 6. Now this is the multiplication you can write now. That the 10 n cube plus 15 n square plus 5 n plus 12 n square minus 6 n upon 6. Now simplification will be like this. That is a 15 n square plus 12 n square and the 5n minus 6n. We can simplify these two terms. These are the like terms. That is a 15n square plus 12n square. We can add it. That is a 27n square. And the minus n plus 5 and minus 6n. That is a. And if you take again n as common, then you will get that is, we can take n as common from these two terms. That is n upon 6 in bracket 10n square plus 27n minus 1. n upon 6, 10n square plus 27n minus n. That is the answer. Now the next. Question number 11. Find the summation r is equals to 1 to n and in bracket r into r minus 3, r minus 2. Now, this is a simple question. What we have to do here? We will multiplication is there. That is r into r minus 3 into r minus 2 perform this multiplication, then apply the summation to all the terms, then we will get the answer. Now see this, r in bracket r minus 3 into r minus 2, that is equals to r square minus 3r, r, r minus 2 and their multiplication, that is the r is equals to 1 to n. Now the next multiplication is at this. Now see this multiplication. That is r square into this r, it becomes r cube. r square into minus 2, it becomes minus 2r square. And next is minus 3r into r, that is a minus 3r square. And minus 3r into minus 2, that is a plus 6r. Again, this is a minus 2r square and the minus 3r square, it will become minus 5r square and then we will apply the summation for the r cube, r square and r and substitute the their values. Now, see this summation r is equals to 1 to n r cube minus 5r square plus 6r. Summation r is equals to 1 to n r cube minus 5r is equals to 1 to n r square plus 6r. Now, what is the value of the r cube? n into n plus 1 upon 2 bracket square. This is the value of the r cube. r square means what? n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6. We substitute here value. And last is n. n into n plus 1 upon 2. Now, here is simplification. This is the bracket square. Then it will become n square n plus 1 bracket square upon 2 square means what is a 4. Now I see this here minus 5 n in bracket n plus. Now here we are multiplying n into n plus 1 to the bracket and next is. Now see this here this n into n that is the n square 
it into 1 and 2n plus 1 as it is and next year this is the 6 upon 2 it becomes 3. Now we will take the common terms from this all the three terms. Now what will be the common terms? Now see this here, here is n, n plus 1. Also here n and n plus 1, n and n plus 1. If we take the common, then if the steps will be like this, n into n plus 1. Now see this, this is n into n plus 1. Then what will remaining in this here? 5 in bracket 2n plus 1 upon 6, n into n plus 1. Then next is you will get that is the 3. Now, now here the LCM of the 4 and 6 and 3 upon 1 that is the LCM of the 4, 6 and 1 is 12. Therefore, we are multiplying the this term by 3 and this term LCM is 12 by 2 and this term by the 12. Now see this here simplification again. That is multiplied with by 3, then you will get 12. Multiplied with this term by 2 numerator denominator, you will get 12. And multiplied numerator denominator by 12, then you will get 36 upon 12. And the denominator is overall 12. That is a 3n in bracket n plus 1 minus 10 in bracket 2n plus 1 plus 36 upon 12. Now see this the multiplication. Next multiplication. Now their multiplication is 3n square plus 3n. Now see this minus 10 into 2n that is a minus 20n minus 10 plus 36. Now here 3n square. Now see this term that is I forget to write there 17n plus 26 see this here 3n square plus 3n minus 20 it becomes minus 17n and minus 10 plus 36 is 26 and overall we are writing n into n plus 1 3n square minus 17n plus 26 upon 12 now see this the answer in the textbook is wrong if you want to write this my answer you can follow it and if you do not agree then don't write it now next is question number 12 now here is a 12th sum that is a summation r is equals to 1 to n 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square dash dash up to the r square upon 2r plus 1. Now, this is very important example because we are deciding that is a 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square dash dash up to the r square that is the summation 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square dash dash up to the r square upon 2r plus 1. We take here that is a i is equals to 1 to r in bracket i is equals to 1 to r and i square then divided by 2 r plus 1. Therefore, keeping the denominator step as it is, i is equals to 1 to r i square then the summation of that will be the r in bracket r plus 1 in bracket 2 r plus 1 upon 2 r plus 1. Now see this here r in bracket r plus 1 2 r plus 1 upon 2 r plus 1. Now in this case numerator and the denominator that is a 2r plus 1 upon 2r plus 1 get cancelled and then you will get r in bracket r plus 1 upon 6 take 1 upon 6 as a common outside this summation sign and then r square plus r make the formula for the summation of the r and r square. 
नाम सी डी सी आर आर इन ब्रैकेट आर प्लस वन अपॉइंट सिक्स दैट इज वन अपॉइंट सिक्स समेशन आर इज इक्वल टू वन टू एन आर स्क्वायर प्लस आर नाउ यर सिंपल मल्टीप्लिकेशन इज देयर आर इन टू आर प्लस वन आर स्क्वायर प्लस and these two terms get cancelled one upon six outside the summation sign it's a constant and next is one upon six in bracket plus one upon six summation r is equals to one to n of the r and now here we will apply the formula for the summation of the r so this n into n plus one upon n to two n plus one upon six here, and here is a n into n plus one upon two. Now see this. Plus one upon six n into n plus one upon two. Now here we have substituted the formula. You can write down this. Next is n into n plus one upon twelve. Now what's happening here? That is six into six. That will become thirty-six, and six into two. That will become twelve. Now from the here we have that is n into n plus one upon twelve. We can take the common. Then in the bracket you will get. n into n plus one upon ten in the bracket you will get two n plus one upon three. Now see this how this comes. That is six into six. That is thirty six. And if you take the total common, then divided by two n plus one is divided by three here. And here from these two brackets, we have taken n into n plus one upon twelve as a common. For this term, there will be the one which will remain, and for this term. That is the two n plus one upon three. Now we will simplify this. Now see this simplification. N into n plus one upon twelve. Two n plus one plus three upon three. And next is this is the normal multiplication. That is three is multiplied with the one. That is three into one is a three, and this divided by three. That is twelve into three is a thirty-six. Then you will get. Two n plus four upon this three. Now see this. Now make their multiplication. N into n plus one. Two in bracket n plus two upon thirty six. Again, there is one term will get cancelled. That is n into n plus one, n plus two upon eighteen. N into n plus one, n plus two upon eighteen. This is the answer. Now, in the, this is the my answer, and the answer in the textbook is different. If you are agree with my calculation, then you can write this. Now, next is. Problem number: The summation r is equals to one to n, one cube, two cube, three cube, plus dash dash up to r cube upon r plus one bracket. Sir. Now here again r is equals to one to n. Now here is a summation in the summation that is a one cube. Plus two cube plus three cube. We have to apply again here summation notation, where i is equals to one to r i cube, and apply the formula for the r n cube formula. Now see this here. This is the important steps here. That is here we have summation in the summation. The first step here i is equals to one to n i cube upon r plus one bracket square. 
this is the important steps here. This is our original summation and we will apply here summation notation for all these terms. i is equals to 1 to i is equals to 1 to n i q. That is here must be the r instead of n. Now we will see this here. We will change it. See this here. n into n plus 1 upon 2 square that is and r in bracket r in bracket r plus 1 upon 2 upon 1 plus r plus um, you can write down this now, in this case, what will happen? That is r plus 1 bracket square and r plus 1 bracket square will get cancelled here. We see this here. <coughs> r is equals to 1 to n. r square r plus 1 bracket square upon 2 square the 4 r plus 1 bracket square. And in this case, that is a r plus 1 bracket square, r plus 1 bracket square get cancelled. And the summation of the r square upon 4, take 1 upon 4 as a common, it's a constant. And then summation of r square, that is 1 by 4, summation of the r square is n into n plus 1, 2 n plus 1 upon 6. And this is this one, 2 n plus 1 upon 20 now the problem number 14. Now we have find 2 into 6 plus 4 into 9 plus 9 into plus sorry plus 6 into 12 in this way up to the nth term. Now here we want to find out 2 into 6 plus 4 into 9 plus 6 into 12 plus dash dash to the end terms. Now here is again the product of the two terms here, here. First sequence and the second sequence. This type of the problems we have solved in the exercise. Now if we see this, the first term is for the first sequence is a 2, 4, 6. Now the first term a is equals to 2, common difference is 2, we can find out there are the term. And for the second sequence that is a 6, 9, 12. The a is equals to 6 and d is equals to 3. Again, we will find out their r the term and the product of these two terms that will be our tr. Now, see this. That is a, each term of this sequence, this series is the product of this product of two numbers. first number in the product two four six eight they form the AP whose first term A is equals to two D is equals to two and therefore, we have their terms, first number in the rth product a plus r minus 1 into t, that is a a is a 2, D is a, so 2, therefore 2 plus 2R minus 2, therefore you will get 2R. What second number? In the product, 
first term is a 6, second is 9, 12 and 15, which are in again AP, A is equals to 6, D is equals to 3, and hence the second number in Rth product is A plus R minus 1 into D. Now you can write this the second number which are in AP A is equals to 6, D is equals to 3, and the second number in the Rth product like this. That is the 6 A plus R minus 1 into D. 6 plus R minus 1 into 3. Next multiplication that is a 6 plus 3R minus 3. 3R plus 3. Therefore, in general, the TR are the term that topics R is equals to 2R in bracket 3R plus 3. Therefore, that is the 6R square plus 6. Therefore, you will get 6R plus 6R. Therefore, the terms and now the given sequence is written in this manner. That is a 6 2 into 6 plus 4 into 9 plus 6 into 12 up to the end term. That is summation to the end term that is equals to summation r is equals to 1 to n of 6 r square plus 6 r. We can take 6 as a common. Now, see this here. That is r is equals to 1 to n 6 r square plus 6 r. Therefore, 6 summation r is equals to 1 to n r square plus r. That is a summation of the, the formula n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6 plus summation of the r is n into n plus 1 upon 2. Now, I will show again you that the last term This is the last one. It goes directly. Now, the question number 15 find 2 into 5 into 8 plus 4 into 7 into 10 plus 6 into 9 into 12 and dash dash up to the nth terms. Now, here there are the three terms. There are the product of the three terms that is a 2, 4, 6, a is equals to 2, common difference is 2 for the first product term. For the middle one, 5, 7 and 9, the first term a is equals to 5, common difference is 2. And for the third, 8, 10, first is 8, common difference is 2 and in this way, we will find out all the terms. See this here. That is a each of the series is product of three numbers. The first number two four six A is equals to two D is equals to two. Therefore, the rth product is x r minus one into two 
into t that is a 2 plus r minus 1 into 2 that 2 plus 2 r minus 2 and that's you will get 2 r this is the first number half the term second number we will find out it's half the term again here the first term a is equal to 5 common difference d is equal to 2 therefore is equal to 5 d is equal to 2 a plus r minus 1 into d that is 5 plus r minus 1 into 2 5 plus 2r minus 2 that is a 2r plus 3 this is the product second term of the term 2r plus 3 the third number in each product in each product is 8 10 12 like this a is equals to 8 d is equals to 2 and it's a r term a minus 1 into d 8 plus r minus 1 into 2 that is a 2r plus 6 and in this way so r term that is a t suffix r is equals to the product of all these three terms the first is 2r second is 2r plus 3 and now here tr is equals to 2r in bracket 2r plus 3 2r plus 6 now we here apply the summation sign their multiplication this is a normal multiplication that is a 2r into 2r 4r square 2r into 3 that is a 6r 2r plus 6 again here multiplication 2r square into 2r 8r cube and next is plus 24 r square plus 12 r square plus 36 r that is equals to 8 r cube plus 20 36 r square plus 36 r this is the t suffix r therefore summation r is equals to 1 to n t suffix r r is equals to 1 to n 8 r raised to 3 plus 36 r square plus 36 r now here we will apply the summation sign to all the terms r is equals to 1 to n r is to 3 36 r is equals to 1 to n r square plus 36 r is equals to 1 to n of the r that is n into n plus 1 upon 2 bracket square 36 n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6 plus n into n plus 1 upon 2 and we will simplify this that is 8 n square n plus 1 bracket square upon 4 plus 6 n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 plus 18 n into n plus 1 therefore we can take the common terms now this is very normal simplification that we have cleared here you can see this now see this 2n square 2n plus 1 bracket square next is 6n n plus 1 12 plus 1 18 in n in bracket n plus 1 now from all these term here is n n plus 1 n n plus 1 n n plus 1 from all these three terms we can take n into n plus 1 as a common therefore you will get n in bracket n plus 1 here is a 2n into n plus 1 now see this again here if you take n into n plus 1 common then what will remain that is a 2 n n plus 1 
The next is 6 in bracket 2 and plus 1. And next is plus 18. Now we can perform here that multiplication. That is n in bracket n plus 1. 2n square plus 2n plus 12. Plus 6 plus 18. Now see this uh, multiplication. 2n square plus 2n plus 12n plus 6 plus 18. And that's the n in bracket n plus 1. Now we can simplify. It is like this. That is a 2n square plus 14n plus 24. Bracket complete. If you take the 2 from all these terms, that is we can take 2 common from this term. Then you will get 2 in 2n n plus 1. n square plus 7n plus 12. Bracket complete. That is a 2n in bracket n plus 1, bracket complete. And the factors of these, they are very simple. That is a 12 multiplication and sum 7. That is a n plus 3 into n plus 4. Therefore, 2n in bracket n plus 1, 2n plus 3, n plus 4. And that's the end. Now, again, we can see this answer. n square plus 7 plus 12, 2n n plus 1, and n plus 3, n plus 4. This is the answer. n in bracket n plus 1, n plus, n plus 4. Now, the next example, 2 1 square plus 2 square upon 2, 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square upon 3, up to n terms. Now see this here. The TR is equals to 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to the R square upon R. Now here is a summation R is equals to 1 to R I square upon r. Now, summation of i is equals to 1 to r of the i square is, that is a r in bracket, that is a tr you will get r in bracket r plus 1 to r plus 1 upon 6 into r and that is why you are getting r r get cancelled. Therefore, r plus 1 to r plus 1 upon 6. Now here we will apply the formula for the summation. That is a r plus 1 to r plus 1 upon 6. r in bracket to r plus 1 plus 1 in bracket to r plus 1 upon 6. That is equals to 2R square plus R plus 2R plus 1 upon 6. 2R square plus 3R plus 1 upon 6. Now here we will apply the formula for the summation here. That is a R 2R square upon 6 plus 3R square upon 6 plus 1 upon 6. Therefore the answer is. Now here we will apply the summation notations that is 1 square upon 1 plus 1 square plus 2 square upon 2 plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square upon 3 up to n. Therefore summation r is equals to 1 to n of dr. r is equals to 1 to n r square plus r square upon 3 plus r upon 2 plus 1 upon 6. 
r is equals to 1 to n r square 1 upon 2 r is equals to 1 to n of the r 1 upon 6 r is equals to 1 to n 1 upon 3 n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6 plus 1 upon 2 n into n plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 6 into n now the normal simplification n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 18 plus n into n plus 1 upon 4 plus n upon 6 and question number 17 here is a 12 square plus 13 square plus 14 square plus 15 square plus 20 square now here is a now to solve this type of the problems we will find the summation of r is equals to 1 to 20 terms and subtraction now see this that is 1 square 2 square plus 3 square up to the 20 square minus up to the 1 to 11 1 square plus 2 square See this. Now see this. R is equals to one to twenty R square. Summation R is equals to one to eleven. Of the R square. Now again here we will apply the formula. Twenty twenty plus one. Two into twenty plus one upon six plus minus 11 10 plus 1 2 into 10 plus sorry 11 in bracket 11 plus 1 2 into 11 plus 1 upon 6 we can substitute and normal calculations are there now see this Simple, we can substitute the numbers. That is eleven into twelve into twenty three upon six. Now you can see this. Yes, they are in multiplication, simplification is very normal here. Now it is 11 into 2 into 23. This simplification you can write now. Now, this is the multiplication. Now, in this problem also, the answer in the textbook is uh, not correct. If we are agreeing with me, then you can write this. All the steps are clear. I have checked number of the times. Therefore, the answer is 2364. Now, the problem number 18. If 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to the end the term upon 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus 4 into 5 plus up to the end terms that is equal to 3 upon 22. Now, in this case, that is the, in the numerator, that is, you have the sequence is in AP and the, for the denominator, there are the product of the two series, 
that is the two sequences that is the first sequence is one two three first sequence is one two three four and second is two three four again these are in ap we will find out the their tr terms and develop this now see the Therefore, start with Therefore, that is one plus two plus three up to the n that is the n into n plus one upon two and for the next this is these are the terms that is a product of the two sequences series that is first term is a is equals to 1 which is in AP, A is equals to 1, D is equals to 1, TR, that is A plus R minus 1 into D, that is 1 plus R minus 1 into 1, that is T sub X R, that is R only. That's R only. And for the second, it's only R term and not T sub X R. Overall, the product of these two sequences it means t sub x r. Now for the second term, a is equals to 2, d is equals to 1, that is a 2 plus r minus 1, that is a 2, r plus 1, that is a t sub x r. You will get r is equals to 1 to n r into r plus 1 r is equals to 1 to n r square plus r therefore their summation r is equals to 1 to n r square plus summation r is equals to 1 to n of the r that is n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 6 plus n into n plus 1 upon 2 now this is Simplification now. See this that n in n plus 1 upon 2 to n plus 1 upon 3 plus 1. Simplification that is a 2n plus 1 plus 3 upon 3. That is a n n plus 1 upon 2n plus no, simplification. Normal simplification is there. We can perform it. This is the and for the next one, up to the n term upon, we will substitute the values here of these two terms. That is equals to 3 upon 22, n into n plus 1 upon 2, n into n plus 1. 2n plus 4 upon 6 is equals to 3 upon 22. Normal calculations are here. Now it becomes multiplied and reciprocal. You can see this. This, this is the very simple. n n plus 1 upon 2 into 6 upon n in bracket n plus 1 to n plus 4 is equals to 3 upon 22. And now next, that is a 2n plus 4 upon 1 upon 22, make their reciprocals 2n plus 4 is equals to 22, 2n is equals to 22 minus 4 that is equals to 18, 2n is equals to 18, therefore n is equals to 9. Yes, sir. Now, 
Next is n is equals to nine. Okay, problem number nineteen. Find fifty square minus forty nine square plus forty eight square minus forty seven square. Forty-six square minus forty-five square. You will get that is a fifty square minus forty-nine square, forty-eight square, forty-seven square, forty-six, forty-five square, and up to the last term that is a two square minus one square. Now here we will write in this manner that is a sum of the even term square that is a 50 square plus 48 square plus 46 square dash dash up to minus 49 square plus 47 square plus dash dash up to the one square that is summation r is equals to 1 to 25 that is a 2r bracket square minus summation r is equals to 1 to 25. 2r minus 1 bracket square. Therefore, their summation r is equal to 1 to 25. 2r square minus 2r minus 1 bracket square. r is equal to 1 to 25. 4r square minus normal simplification is here. 4r square minus, you can see this here. Normal multiplication, simplification is there. Squaring on both sides, you will get open the bracket plus 4r square minus 4r square get cancelled, and in bracket you will get 4r minus 1. Now, see this again r is equal to 1 to 25. 4 summation r is equal to 1 to 25 of the r and summation r is equal to 1 to 25 of the 1 that is a 4 n into n plus 1 upon 2 and the last is minus 25 summation of the 1 r is equal to 1 to 25 that is a minus 25 this is the normal simplification is here therefore that is a 2 into 25 into 26 minus 25. Now you can see these numbers. Okay. You can write also now. Now the next is that is a 1300 minus 25 and that is equals to 1275. <laughs> see this is the last problem of this video that is a 1 into 3 plus 2 into 5 plus 3 into 7 up to the n terms and to the denominator 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube up to the nth term we have to find out the sequence for the numerator terms because it is a product of the two series. Now consider yeah, the series which is the product of 1 into 3 plus 2 into 5, 3 into 7 and up to the n terms. Now here the first term a is equals to 1, common difference d is equals to 1. Of the two terms, therefore, See this here. The first number is in AP. The 
first number it's a r term that is a is r for the second one the product 357 a is equals to 3 d is equals to 2 which is a is equals to 3 d is equals to 2 hence the second number in the rth position r term will be that is a plus r minus 1 into d That is a three plus r minus one d is two. That is three plus two r minus two. That is a two r plus one. Therefore, we will get d. It's a r term. Therefore, now for the total product term. Result two r plus one. Therefore, the rth term that is equals to r into two r plus one. Therefore, we can write now the r is the r this year one dot two plus two dot five plus two dot seven up to the n terms. That is the summation r is equals to one to n of the d r. R is equals to one to n. R in bracket two r plus one. That is a two r square plus r. And now we will take here the ratio. That is one into three plus two into five. Up to the n terms. One cube plus two cube plus up to the nth term, and that is equals to five upon nine. Here we will substitute. We see this here. The summation r is equals to one to n to r square plus r upon Summation r is equals to one to n r cube phi upon nine. Now here that is a two r is equals to one to n r square plus r is equals to one to n of the r upon r is equals to one to n r cube upon phi upon nine. Now here we will substitute the value. That is the summation of the That is a two into n into n plus one, two n plus one upon six plus n into n plus one upon two, and whole divided by r cube. That is n into n plus one upon two bracket square is equals to five upon nine. Therefore, now from this bracket, we can take common. That is a n into n plus one upon two, and we cancel it. See this here. That is a two in bracket n into n plus one to n plus one upon. It is a normal simplification is there. Upon n into n plus one upon two. Which is the phi upon nine? We can cancel the one term. That is the n into n plus one. Okay. 
that is n into n plus 1 to n plus 1 upon 3 n into n plus 1 upon 2 n into n square n plus 1 bracket square upon 4 is equal to pi upon 9 the cancellations of the terms are Therefore, n into n plus 1 will take the common and then in bracket you will get 2n plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 2 upon n square n plus 1 bracket square upon 4 is equals to 5 upon 9 it's a normal simplification is there you can cancel it Now in this case it's uh, not necessary. That is equals to we have we are making the cross multiplication is here five upon nine. You can see this. Okay. Now next that is the two n plus one cross multiplication two in bracket two n plus one plus three upon six five n in bracket n plus 1 upon 36 this is the cancellations of the terms that is a 4n plus 2 plus 3 5n square plus 5n upon 6 that is a 4n that is a 5n upon 6 now we have cross multiplication that is a 6 in bracket 4n plus 5 is equals to 5n square plus 5n which is a 24n plus 30 5n square plus 5n 5n square plus 5n minus 24n minus 30 this is the normal quadratic equation you can see this here okay therefore the terms are n square the factors are minus 25n plus 6n minus 30. Take 5n as common. n minus 5 plus 6 in bracket n minus 5. That's equal to 0. In first bracket n minus 5. In second bracket 5n plus 6. That's equal to 0. n minus 5 equals to 0. 5n plus 6 equals to 0. And therefore n is equal to 5 or n is equal to minus 6.5. But n is natural number. Therefore it is not possible. Therefore, we take n is equals to as a n is equals to 5 and this is the final answer. In this way, we have completed up to the question number 1 to 20. And in this way, we have completed these questions. That is the question number from 1 to 20. I hope that you understood all the questions whatever I had explained and if you are new for this channel then if you like this my work then subscribe it and share it with your needy friends. Now we will see in the next video till then goodbye.